Okay, so thank you. Uh, I'm very happy to be here to share with you our experience in uh, the usage of MISP. So um, for, for this talk, I will first present what is water because you had to understand what kind of data we collect, uh, how we collect them, and after why we decided to share IOC with our customers and partners. And uh, you will see uh, that we are small, we are, we want, uh, I think we, we need to, to share information with uh, other per persons, so MISP is a good tool for this. So first, what is Waller? Waller is uh, a collaborative tool designed by a French company for 10 years, uh, and cybersecurity is in the heart of our activity. We want to be uh, uh, cybersecurity to be a commercial argument. Um, so of course, our tool is hosted, is exposed on internet, so we have attacks, and of course, we can collect uh, I think interesting data to share. Uh, so our uh, environment is on OVH uh, provider. So we have servers, we have security devices. As I told you previously, we uh, have cyber attacks against us as you have also. Um, and we collect information. So we have logs. We look at them, um, try to uh, define uh, attack paths, attack pattern that we can use to generate alerts for us to, to detect uh, further attacks. So we collect IP addresses, URL, user agent, and so on. So as I think many of you are uh, is doing. So I, I put an example of what we recently collect as an example of trying to install um, uh, Mirai uh, uh, attack against router. So it's an example. Um, logs are ingested in IRCIM and uh, I process. We are, we are a small team and we are only two person for cybersecurity. So uh, we do this analyzing what, what is happening on our system. And again, we, uh, we generate alerts uh, based on uh, cross-site scripting attempts or uh, attacks. Connection on our administrative page or in general on WordPress and so on. And uh, known malicious user agents that we have identified and combined with other information find on, on internet. Uh, so here it's a screenshot of what we are doing, but it's, I think, not <laughs> uh, particularly special, but we do it. We try to, to, uh, to get information, trying to find a new way of attacks against us. Um, and after we analyzed information, we push uh, those data into our MISP instance um, because it's very, very easy to, to do it, and I've got a good experience. I will, I will tell you after uh, about this. So, <laughs> this is MISP. <laughs> of course, you know it. Uh, but we put a lot of information in it, so uh, we are happy to do this. And what is very interesting for us is the capability of MISP to cross data to know if uh, this attack is, has been already seen by us or by uh, someone else. So, that's, that's interesting for us. So why sharing IOC? Why we decide, decide this? From my point of view, I think cyber criminals uh, used to share information about their targets. Uh, vulnerabilities, if uh, the targets pay the ransom in, in ransomware attacks, so it's interesting to know that you can go again uh, against this target. So I think it's time for Defender but to share information. Even if it's basic information, but I think um, widely uh, information is spread, it's going to be efficient. So um, attackers have IP addresses, email addresses, uh, malicious file name, a, a lot of things that could interest even small other companies that are not in cybersecurity, for example. 
Before uh, deploying MISP in, uh, in, uh, in Waller, before I was CISO of a French city and uh, I created a network of uh, CISO and uh, of, of cities and we used to share IOC with MISP for three years. So I, I found it was very efficient, very easy to use, easy to share. So at the end when I, when I left uh, my cities, uh, we were close to 150 users of MISP. So I saw it was a good experience. So that's why I decided to deploy it to, to, to water and to find uh, a way to, to make it uh, useful. So with who we decided to share? Uh, we decided that our clients, our partners, could have access to those data. If uh, I found that just for us, okay, it's interesting, of course, but it could help. We have many clients of different size. We have big companies, but we have small companies that could be interested to have information about attackers that can use them themselves to uh, detect what's, what's happening. Um, and also we open it to our partners. Again, we think it could be interesting. We are a member of Exatrust. And uh, we uh, we decided to open it to uh, the entire Exatrust members. And an example of one of member is Serenicity. I don't know if you know this company. It's a French company designing uh, a peripheral to to uh, like an IDS or IPS for small companies, but also for for bigger one. And uh, they process all the data we push every day in MISP to enrich. Uh, their own uh, um, thread database they have. So for us, it's uh, we are happy that data is used every day by by one of our, our partner. And also, um, this company push information into our MISP instance again to to share with uh, the entire community. What's next? What we want to do after this? Well. I think it's a good place to, to launch this uh, call because I don't know exactly all the capability of MISP, so I will be happy to share uh, our uh, events with, with you, with people that are okay with, with this. Uh, of course, uh, TLP white information. Uh, so uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's contact us and, and we will be pleased to, to share uh, with you. And this is uh, the end. It's very short, but I think uh, it was clear to see we are happy to use MISP and it was very efficient to share information with uh, our customers and uh, partners. Thank you. Okay, that was quick. Yes. Um, <laughs> is there any questions or feedback? Um, I just remember something, and we were discussing with one of my colleagues about it. Uh, we remember in an European project, Waller was used, and uh, basically Waller is m much more than just uh, is doing chat. You have kind of office document and so on. Um, how, how do you see at some point the integration between all of that with MIS? Because in MIS, for example, we have what we call even report, which kind of markdown text and so on. Do you plan to integrate those things into your platforms too? Uh, that, that could be uh, <laughs> uh, uh, an evolution for the moment. We are just a basic user, but why not? If uh, if you're interested to collaborate with us, uh, <laughs> I'd be pleased to to help you. Well, that sounds good. Uh, another question. Uh, so you use a lot of open source components in your different tools. How do you do with all the licensing aspect of open source project and so on when you integrate the software and so on? How do you manage that in, in inside Waller? Because I remember you, you use some stuff from LibreOffice and so on too. Yeah, no, no, uh, everything uh, in Waller except our um, uh, except the part for sharing uh, Office documents uh, that we have a, li a license for. Uh, all the things are designed and developed by our team, so it's. No, no link with uh, another part of uh, of no, software. Just curious. Uh, 